small holder farmers play a key role in addressing the challenges related to climate change, food security, and poverty. Majority of small holder farmers who constitute 65% of Africa's labor force are unable to embrace the opportunities presented by the changing economic and demographic landscape triggered by global transition to low carbon, climate resilient, and economic development trajectory. With the advent of the novel coronavirus and shrinking or unpredictable market prices for most agricultural produce, Small-scale farmers are left with little or no option other than embrace the enterprises which promise an income stream with low risk, low capital input, ready market, and friendly to the environment. Mimi ni mkulima upande wa Geka Location na samba yangu iko katika Ndhihira na uko katika samba yangu mimi nimepanda Sogam. Wakati ule tulikuwa tunapanda hii Sogam Bele tupewe na hawa watu wa pakinja. Tulikuwa tunandanganywa sana na mbroka, lakini kwa sasa ninatumaini, ninajua ya kwamba tutausa masawa yetu isuri, na tumeyandiwa, bwa, tumeyandiwa tutausa mbeu setu sawa sawa na tupate pesa msuri, sa kusaindia familia zetu na watoto wetu kwa fi. Ile inatuletea sangamoto tunapopanda nguso, ikiwa hapo chini kuna biwabu binakuja binakula kula matawi alafu inapofika mahali pa kuzaa inapotoa ile ile siwi byenye inaitangwa hii kiondo ya nini hapo kuna kuwa na kitu ingine inakulanga alafu hata hapo tunahitaji ndawa ya kunyunyizia eh hizi ndawa sisi byenye tulikuwa tunapata tu tulikuwa tunanunua kwa manduka lakini tunaomba tu kama mnaweza kutupea njinsi mlivyo tupea mbegu mnaweza saindia sisi Tangu nilime mtama mbele nilikuwa nimelima mahindi eh, alafu ile nilifanya niingilie kulima huu wa mtama Nili, niliona mwezangu akilima mahali hapa nikaona amepata ngunia mingi kuliko chenye nilikuwa nabuna za mahindi ya marawe na mimi nikahamia huko kwa hii mtama tunaita nguzo nikalima mwaka njana nikapata ngunia mingi kuliko zile nilikuwa nimepata mbeleni sasa hizo vitu zingine wakati tulikuwa tunalima mbeleni tulikuwa tunahusia brokers wala kuja na kutunulia kwa pesa kidogo lakini saa hii tumeaidiwa ati ya kwamba tutanunua kwa pesa mingi. Alafu saa sio tunapraye hiyo saidi. Hata ningeomba au watu wa Paxija wakitupea waki ndawa ningefurahia sana. Hii mtama ni sakula inatengenezwa uji ina ina tutengenezwa kama sagula imekuliwa na watu na hata ni sagula ya ngombe na hata wakati tunabuna hii mabuno hii 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 majani mengine yanakuliwa na ngombe tunatumia hata kutengeneza mbolea na hata tukiweka kwa samba inatumia kusika undongo ili usiende na na maji eh sasa inatusaidia kwa njia mingi sana ndio tunaona ni vizuri tupande hii hii mmea hata mbwe kinyesa kidogo unaweza kubuna kuliko ile ulikuwa unavuna ya maiti haitaji mbwa mingi kila naitwa Sabina Riongo na kwetu ni hapa tu Murera. Tunalima hapa. Sana sana mmetusaidia sana na nguso yenu. Juu vitu vingine vyote tulipanda sasa mnaona vimekauka lakini nguso inafanya vizuri. Tunaongoa kitu kutoka hii nguso juu mkitununulia vizuri. Tunaweza wausia tununue mahindi na tuendelee kukaa vizuri. So tunashukuru kwa kutupea hii nguso. 
na sana sana tunaomba Mungu atupe mbwa kidogo ili ikomae vizuri Tunashukuru juu ya hii kampuni yenu hii ya Paginja juu ilitupea hii mbegu tukaanza na kuvalilia samba tukalima samba tukapanda mbua ikanyesa imea yetu ikamea vizuri ikafika wakati mbua ikakauka ikasama kidogo juu mnaona haifanyi vizuri sana lakini iko sawa juu sio kama vitu hivi vingine tumepanda I'm Lois Gatwiri from Rera Catchment. In the catchment, among many, is the Nizilian Shishona to Jinuetena and a Pakja. I'm a of great benefit to the farmers since 2019, Wakati Kulikwana Corona. This is when this project was brought in Murera. And uh, being a young farmer, I opted to opt Kulima. By then, it was sunflower which was introduced, and then, then later, Wakaleta Nguzo. So we earned some training from Pakja and uh, to Jinuetena. They trained the farmers, Wakatupia guidelines on how to plant these crops, the nguzo. Then they promised that to support an ready market, which is KEABL, Kenya Breweries. With the Wakua Pamoja na Meru County, Wamekua of great benefits, Babu. Wamekua kitambia kwa mashamba, kuangalia wa wakulimu wanafanya nini, they have been inspecting the crops. Kama umekuwa na any challenge in your farm, una contact, they come and see what the need that you need. I being a farmer, nimepanda nguzo na maindi. Vinyu unaona nguzo imefanya vizuri kuliko maindi. The reason, nguzo it's a crop it's a drought resistant crop. Na maindi imekosa mvu ya kutosha, that's why umeone imekauka. But sunflower, um, nguzo is still doing good. So, nigeambia that the youth, or venting to farming because it has got some benefits. The challenges to Napata Kwa Kupanda Guzo it's they are being affected by insects insects. A lot of fertilizer is also a challenge. So I would ask the organizations to help us to get the requirements which is needed so that we can have better production. Farmers in Mbere North constituency and the county have turned to sorghum farming in a bid to safeguard food security against the negative effects of climate change. According to Mbere North MP Godfrey Roko, other food crops such as maize were not doing so well, leading to the establishment of a sorghum farming project in the area, which is said to be scaled up to other zones. According to a 2022 report by the European Investment Bank, 78% of Kenyans say that they have already taken some form of action to adopt to the impact of climate change. The report showed that access to food is among top key concerns for Kenyans, with 48% saying that climate change is one of the main challenges. <laughs> In Bere North constituency, Embu County, an area which is generally dry, development partners have engaged farmers in a project aimed at creating awareness on the need to farm sorghum. Kama munaviyohona, inafanya vizuri sana. If you compare these uh, variety, kwa sababu huku tulipeana ile gadam variety ya sorghum, it is doing extremely well. If you compare with other crops like maize and others, utapata hii, it is doing well well more than other crops we are here to monitor how the sorghum uh, project which we have uh, been partnering with the pan-africa justice alliance pan-africa climate justice alliance 
uh, together with the uh, East Africa breweries uh, to see how the crop is performing and it is doing exceedingly well. Farmers are optimistic that sorghum farming will improve their livelihoods as the crop thrives even with little rain. However, they have been urged to be more aggressive in combating climate change by planting trees, even as they source for larger markets for the new sorghum crop. Uh, what we are promoting is a growing of drought-resistant varieties. Now, I visited the farm of this uh, lady. She is called Rosemary uh, from this Changera uh, village. And as you can see, she planted maize. This is her first uh, crop. Actually, she planted maize before sorghum. But if you really make a proper observation, you realize that there is almost total crop failure for maize. There is crop failure. And then if you look at even the pests, there is a lot of pest infestation. And uh, this is what we are telling farmers, not to really stick in the traditional staple foods, because there is an alternative. Uh, if you look at all these maize plants, there is nothing that she can really claim that she'll harvest this season. But I want us to look at the other farm, her farm, which is just across uh, this um, uh, road, there is a sorghum farm. This is Gadam variety of sorghum. If you really compare with what we have just seen in the maize farm, you realize that here there is a lot of productivity. Same agroecological conditions, uh, the rainfall was the same, the pattern was the same, but you look at this and this is what we mean when we talk of drought resistance. Ilinyeshewa marambiri tu. Kukuwa na mfuwa ingine tangu hiyo wakati. So, hata kama vile meza, I'm satisfied. Kwa hivu inajua, effort yangu is not in vain, na mambo ya mfuwa ni ya mungu. E, Nikikombea uh, zile ma, mime zingine ni menjaribu kupanda, I can see for sure at mutama is better than ni maindi. Ma Kwa hivu, nitawapereka sehemu za ile maindi nilipanda the same time na hii mutama arafu mutaona hata hakuna kitu nitapata ni mbuzi tu watakura. Before climate change yansie ku affect this area production ya was very high. Watu walikuwa natoa masao mingi ya maindi ya marawe walikuwa na mbuzi mingi na kodro hata mira walikuwa napata pesa mingi. Then climate change yansie mvua it was not reliable kwa na, na njua kali. Alafu, hawa watu, hiyo mimea walikuwa napanda wanawe si chakula mingi ikakosekana. Sasa wakipanda, wapati masao, they lost hope. Kuongeza mambo ingine mbaya, kuengia na COVID. Schools were closed, wazoto kuengia nyumbani, wazazi ya wakua na tembea, kulikuwa na restrictions. Wakurugenzi wa pakja, wakafikiria, ni hai tunayasa inuwe hii community. Wakaona kizuri ni walete mimea ili itastamili juwa kali na mwishoe wapate masao. Ndiyo sawa kumwanzo tulifikiria tukawaletea sunflower. Sabu gani? Weather ime change. Climate has changed. Kwa hivyo hile manguni uliku unatoa ama kejizili uliku unatoa kwa shamba yako siku hizi imefungua. Farmers from various counties across the country who spoke to us over the phone cited poor yields as a major reason they gave up on the cash crop. Mali tunapeleka soko ni mbali sana kutoka hapa. Ningeomba ya serikali hiyo hiyo ya national ama hiyo ya county. If they can help the farmers ama wakulima tufanya kwa upariti kwa foundation hivi kama kwa society tunuizo machines tuwazia kutengeneza hivi vitu inatawa kwa sani flasisi wenyewe. Monoru says the government needs to encourage and support more jobless Kenyans to engage in farming.
the best practices and lessons learnt in pilot phase are invaluable and will be used during the project scale-up phase. Name is uh, Kanye James. I work for Pan-African Climate Justice Alliance at a project called Tujinue Tena, uh, dubbed uh, Building Back Together, which supports uh, small-scale farmers with uh, drought-resistant varieties of, uh, of, of crops. And uh, we also try to link them with markets so that uh, there is a ready market for their produce. So uh, the project here, we are doing um, uh, sorghum, uh, which is uh, uh, drought-resistant, early maturing, and uh, of course as a ready market with one of the uh, companies that does, uh, <laughs> that does um, uh, beer, that is KBL, Kenya Brewer is Limited. group ya hapa kuna group nne kuna Verone self help group hiyo ingine ni gani na Kamenyerio self help group so hizi group zote zinatoka area ya Kanuni ward na katika lugha ya kijinua tena tunaita Kanuni catchment area tutaweka hizi hives 4 kilometers ama katika eneo kutoka kwa mpaka wa, wa kutoka kwa mpaka wa park 4 kilometers kutoka kwa mpaka kwa hivyo uta, utapata kwamba zile catchments za katio aziko katika hiyo radius ambayo inasubuliwa na dogo so uh, kama tujuavyo nyuki na na wanyama wa pori aswa huwa ni maandui sana so hawa nyuki wakiwekwa pale kwa farm watakuwa wanazuia wale wa, wa wanyama wa pori kuingia katika eh, farm zetu eh, ambako wanakuja wanaharibu mimea so that is one of the things another thing is that hii nyuki inasaidia pollination kwa maua kwa hivyo wale ambao watakuwa wanapanda kama for example guzo ama sunflower kutakuwa na hiyo uh, uh, mutual benefits between bees and the sunflower na pia uh, guzo for in terms of to pollinate na to increase yield ya farm kitu kingine ni kwamba uh, asali huwa ni chakula ya binadamu so we are actually contributing to food security among the people kitu kingine ni kwamba it is a way of diversifying farm income badala ya kukuwa na kitu kimoja tu peke yake ambayo inaweza saidia maswa wakati huu ambako kuko na maneno ya uh, climate change utapata kwamba in most cases eh, chakula ambayo inapandwa inaharibika lakini wakati umeweka uh, mizinga yako hakuna hata mvua ikipotea at least mtakuwa na kitu kingine ya fall back it's a fall back plan so it's a way of diversifying uh, farm income The advantage of this uh, Langstroth hive is that um, uh, bees will not take time to rebuild the combs. Once you return the bars, they will continue putting on honey and then after three months it will be ready for harvesting again. We have harvested six kilograms from this honey, actually from six bars. So it is an average of uh, uh, one kilogram 
per bar. Uh, the rest of the bars were not well formed, so we were not able to, to harvest. Uh, to, so we, after harvesting, we extracted the honey through the centrifugal extractor, and then we were actually returning the, 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 the bars so that the bees can continue uh, forming honey. So as I was saying, the advantage of this uh, Langstroth hive is that um, uh, bees will not take time to rebuild the combs. Once you return the bars, they'll continue putting on honey and then after three months, it will be ready for harvesting again. So the, the other two uh, hives, the colonies are very good, but we have found one hive uh, as uh, some beetle attack, bee beetle. So, and I am sure that is what is um, stressing the bees. So there was no honey. And the, the other one, we were just doing routine checking to see the condition, huh? the condition of the hive. So we were not able to harvest, but we were able to check to see that uh, the, the condition, uh, they, they, are, they are in good condition. Uh, there is no disease, but a, a few pests in one of the hives. So these are uh, Langstroth hives. Eh? Um, uh, there is uh, another advantage apart from the income that you get from the sales of the honey. We have installed these hives along the Meru National Park boulder in Igembe South uh, after realizing that uh, bees and elephants are natural enemies and of course buffaloes. So where we have put the apiaries uh, the elephants have not been able to encroach into the farms. We have had a lot of cases of elephants and buffaloes crossing into, crossing into the farms and destroying farms in the Gembe North. And uh, I, we believe uh, it is a solution. So if, 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 if farmers in those um, areas can, can, can install a few hives in their farms, it, it could uh, help re, 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 repel the elephants. So it, is, uh, uh, it has been researched by Dr. Lucy King and uh, it, 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 is, it is working. So it is something that we, 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 we can scale up in our farms to ensure that uh, the elephants and uh, these other wild animals, especially in the uh, wildlife conflict zones, are repelled so that they don't uh, encroach into the farms and destroy, destroy our crops. Mm -hmm.